everyone, this is Pacey Bread here, and today I'll be teaching you how to create a smooth line for your video for EVT. This is the smoothest you can get using the one sensor um, uh, in an EV3. Um, so, this uh, program will use a lot of um, variables. Now, I'll teach you how to create this, uh, how to create this line follower. Take out a variable block. Now, what you want to do is, um, at this point, go to add variable and write a uh, black. Press OK and you will have uh, you will have a black variable in this list. Click on the black and leave it there. Then create uh, then get out another variable block and put this one. Uh, create another variable to name it to white. Press OK and um, and then uh, choose white from your list. After that, uh, take out two variable blocks. One. And then change one of them to white. Then change their state to numeric, read numeric, both of them. Then get out a match block. Right here. Then change it. it um, put this in the advanced state. Then you, uh, using wires, connect this um, uh, black to A and white to B. Uh, uh, put... Um, Put zero and zero in both of C, uh, both in C and D, and then change the equation here. Change it to A plus B divided by two. Okay, and then get out another uh, variable and change this to midpoint. Uh, create a variable named midpoint. Uh, put it onto midpoint, the variable on midpoint, and then drag in the result into its previous value. Then, what you want to take out is a loop. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm leaving it on unlimited, but you can use whatever you want. Now, um, from the sensor uh, tab, choose take out a um, uh, color sensor and change its state to measure reflected light intensity. You can choose whatever port, but uh, currently with my robot it is on 3. Now, um, get another variable block. And change this to numeric. And put this value to midpoint. Now take out another um, math block. Put this to advanced and put the following equation inside it. A minus B into C into A. Okay, and then using the wires, connect is 3 to A, midpoint to B, and I'll tell you what to put in these two blocks, uh, in these two variables. Um, before we go go to that, let's first finish the program by um, getting a smooth steering. Putting this on on, choosing whatever speed you want. I'm choosing 40, and we're putting the result into steering uh, variable. Now I tell you what to put in C and D. Now in C, what you want to do is um, uh, C is the uh, C is the side in which on which your robot will be following the line. So if if um in my robot if uh, the c is equal to one then the robot will follow this side of the line this side but if um your robot uh if my robot's uh, c value is set to minus one then the robot will follow this side of the line now this is up to you which side you want to follow you can check um you this uh this value varies from robot to robot so you will have to check which value you want to put uh, by through hit and trial method. Now and in D, um, the other value. This is um, the smoothness of what uh, smoothness of the program you are uh, trying to use. So um, you, if you have a broad robot, uh, it is um, preferred to use a higher value. Highest value you can use is one, and the lowest you can use is 0 0.1. Uh, the higher the value is, uh, the higher value is preferred for broad robots. Uh, 
but it can be also used in states in which uh, you have um, intersections on your line. Um, um, in my robot, 1.5 uh, works best uh, for the robot. That is why I use um, 0.5. I'll use 0.5 in my program. So let's fill in the values. 0 0.5 in this and one in a uh, minus one in this. Um, and when you do this, when you run your program, your uh, line follow will work, uh, will uh, smoothly follow the line. Uh, if if you have taken the correct black value and white value and correct edge and the correct um, steering. I'll tell you how to uh, add in a black black value and a white value. So what you want to do is that you want to connect your robot, then on the uh, connect your robot and then open open this uh, open this tab the uh, port uh, port view. Then on uh, the the port on which your color sensor is plugged in, choose the uh, uh, find the for, uh, port. It is easy to find because there are only four ports. Then uh, place the sensor on top of the line you want to follow. The value that appears, put that value inside this. Say my robot value usually is 23. Then on white, uh, again place a robot with uh, the same robot on the the other surface, except the line the other surface which um, it is uh, which is parallel to the line. Um, my white value always comes around 75. 75. Um, and if if you have put in the correct values, uh, your correct edge and the correct um, steering, this uh, line follow is one of the best you can do. Um, hope you like this, guys. This has been Spacey Bread, and I'm out. Please do um, uh, like and sh uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.